Hey there, and welcome to Rescuing the Donovers Hacker, where, having made some, I don't know, errors, mistakes, what have you, I'm now going to try and rescue her. So the first thing I'm going to do, is the most tedious thing, which is going to take the pale blue grey, and I'm going to paint dots on the arm, and I'm going to make the dots match up to the texturing on the arm, so that I can accentuate and bring out all of the arm dots as neatly as possible. So this is going to be probably one of the more tedious jobs I've engaged in and I'll be back in a mo where you can see it all dotty <laughs> I might be dotty too catch you in a second here we have it then I think this is a reasonable rescue job you can see I've just run dots all down those forearms and now it looks almost like uh, she's wearing a mash over the top of her flesh which I quite like actually so I feel like the beginning of the rescue has begun and it's doing okay. So next up I'm going to mix some charcoal grey with the blue grey, light blue grey I've been using to put the dots on. And I will apply that to the blue areas of the coat. I'll probably use a little hint in a little bit more of extra blue as well. Just to keep it dark. Um, it's going to be heading towards the colour of the Aceras though. So I'll get that done I'll be back in a moment. Here we have it then. I've got all of the uh, next tone. It's a mixture of charcoal grey, pale blue grey and um, heavy opaque blue just to keep it in line with the blue that was already down and this has been put on it's pretty rough shot in all fairness um, I think ultimately I'm going to have to do some ink blending on this one just to bring everything back in line again but um, next up I'm going to apply the lighter tone to these areas and just bring them up to something more like the colour I want them to be. Here we have it then, I've applied light greys, she's just looking kind of messier and messier and messier. So, uh, something's going to give and uh, it's going to work out fine, um, but I'm going to carry on, I'm going to apply white to the flesh now to bring that really light. I'm probably not that back with the blue ink I feel. Um, I'm going to apply lilac to the hair and um, once I've done both of those things I think I might just dry brush the whole thing with white and give it a thin black ink wash and knock it all back um, I'll apply reapply brown as well to all the leather I'm going to do all that, get all those bits filled in and then I'm going to be back with you hoping that this is actually starting to go somewhere because at the moment, I don't know it just seems to get messier and less pretty looking by the second so I'm going to get on and see if I can rescue this mini. Here we have it then. I've done all of that. Put the white on the face, put the blue ink wash, rewhited it, uh, put light through the hair, painted the leather brown again. And I still, I feel like I'm, I'm not even base coated here. It's, it's, it's not going well. So. I'm actually just going to dry brush this white, I'm going to apply black ink, I'm going to get back to you in a minute, and then I'm going to call that, I don't know, somewhere between base cooling and toning. And then, next time, I will be getting into highlighting, so I'll get all that done, I'll catch you in a mo. Hopefully she will be rescued and ready for a new beginning. So here we have it after a white dry brush, and a, it's a mixture of purple ink, black ink, blue ink, and water, pretty thin. Ink wash on the Donovan's hacker here, and um, I feel like we actually have a beginning. Sometimes it just takes this kind of thing. Be brutal, knock it back. And uh, this is just giving me a tonal variety, and combined with the sort of underpainting as such. So now. What was meant to be base coat come underpainting, um, but you know, Turner was all about the underpainting, all about creating lighting effects and painting over the top. If you look at a lot of modern Turner exhibitions, they actually show a large portion of just paintings he's not finished and are just covered in underpainting. So here we go. I think we're at a good point to begin with from. So hopefully, fingers crossed, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Done of this hacker as well on the way to being rescued. So I'll catch you next time where we resolve 
all of these issues that we've been having with painting this one. Thank you for watching and um, I hope this has been of some use and interest to you despite it being a very weird one struggling with this mini. Take care and have a good one. Bye bye.